the Taipei International Book Exhibition has opened once again in person in the nation's capital. In its past two editions, the annual exhibition was held virtually due to COVID. Now, from June 2nd to the 7th, the TIB will present 10 pavilions featuring 364 local and international publishers from 31 countries. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang takes us in to look at some of the highlights. Books from Ukrainian authors, Ukrainian voices, and Ukrainian narrative. Valentina Butenko introduces the Ukraine Pavilion at the 2022 Taipei International Book Exhibition. Butenko is the head of international business development of Yakabu, a leading book publisher in Ukraine. The Ukrainian Pavilion showcases Ukrainian works translated into German and Chinese, including fiction, nonfiction, and picture books. Butenko thanked Taiwan and highlighted the fact that Taiwan and Ukraine are both countries that fight for democracy and stand for freedom. I also want to extend my thanks before I talk about you know, Ukraine and Yakubu to the Taiwanese public, the Taiwanese people. I have really been humbled by the support you have shown to Ukraine, um, by the kindness of your people, and by your recognition of the importance of the fight for democracy and freedom that we are fighting. And I, and I truly believe there is a lot between Taiwan and Ukraine in common, there's a lot in common in our future because we are both countries that understand what it means to stand up to aggression and understand what it means to, to stand for freedom, democracy and human rights. Aside from books, 15 illustrations are also on display at the Ukrainian pavilion to allow readers to better understand the situation in Ukraine. There are also QR codes that allow visitors to read about the Ukrainian book market. Visitors can also make donations to support Ukraine. Uh, we have pictures of sorrow and of anger, but also of hope. And I think that really summarizes what Ukraine is and what Ukraine is about, that despite the terror, despite uh, the aggression, we always believe, we always hope, we always keep going. Butenko, who is from Kiev, says she has had to take refuge in bomb shelters with her family amid the Russian invasion. She says she's grateful to have been invited to the Taipei International Book Exhibition. Through the exhibition, she hopes to let more people understand Ukraine and preserve their Ukrainian identity. This particular stand and this particular exhibition is, is incredibly important to me personally uh, because as I mentioned uh, a few months ago, I was in Kiev and I was experiencing the war and I was living in bomb shelters. But you know, the scariest thing in those moments uh, isn't even the thought that you might lose your house, it's the thought that your very identity uh, might be destroyed and might be eliminated forever. And this particular moment, this is about preserving Ukrainian identity on the international stage. At this year's Taipei International Book Exhibition, France returned as a guest of honor for the fourth time. The French Pavilion exhibits 2,000 books from 80 publishers across all genres. It also features an exhibition that showcases manuscripts of French novelist Marcel Proust. This is the 30th Taipei International Book Exhibition. It features 10 themed pavilions in 10 special areas. We are very grateful to France for being the guest of honor for the fourth time. In the Taiwan Pavilion, one highlight is a reading citizen's book area, which features a convenience store style booth where books are placed in a fridge. There's also an autograph machine that readers can use to receive autographs from their favorite authors. Event organizers are providing free hand sanitizers as well as gloves and masks. In order to curb the spread of the virus, an epidemic prevention door is installed at the entrance of the book exhibition. Visitors can also take masks, gloves, and hand sanitizers next to the entrance. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Yan Wenchen in Taipei.